What happened while I was gone, Zoltan? The fun is about to begin. Herdsman Hedsult personally leads all his cattle here. We'll win. Is that all? Ah, we've got unexpected guests. Who? I think one of them's a she. Ugly like shite after winter, but she's got tits. You should have what? seen our lads' faces when those eyesores entered the courtyard. Did they say why they went to help us? Wizard would. Wizard's foe is Troll's foe. I met this pair. They can be of use. Good. We want to create a land without prejudice. When oh, is this the trolls? The, lead the assault spread. The spirit of our lads fell into the gutter. Tell them, Zoltan, that if they don't believe in victory, they might as well fly a white flag. I tried, but they still look down. Gather the defenders, Zoltan. Why so quiet? I thought you'd be merry. King Henselt himself will honor us with a visit. We're all going to die. We can't repel the attack. Henselt is invincible. We won't be fighting mere minions, but their king. And the king himself will have to recognize our victory. Could a soldier dream of better than defeating a monarch? Or maybe you're afraid to fight. Maybe we should fly a white flag. It's so simple. Henselt will quickly set up his order here. Inns will be marked, humans only. Dwarves will choke in the mines. Elves will perish, hunted in the forests. Lords will slaughter peasants because they didn't bow low enough. Is that the land you want to leave to your children? No. Never. You're shitting bricks because Henselt is coming. Who is he? A god? No. He has arms, legs, and blood, as red as any of ours. If he dares to cross these walls, then we'll gladly spill some of it. Yes! Get Henselt! Long live Saskia! Many of you won't see the light of dawn again. Many won't return to your women or drink with friends. But we will care for and honor their graves when they enter the earth. Adernian Earth. Those who survive will live with their heads held high, for only such a life makes sense. Now, to arms and to the walls, let's show Henselt real war! Can I get a drink in? Can I get two drinks in? Three drinks in? Rook, swallow. Let's get this in real quick. Raise your actors. No! I want to get that in. I'm backing up. I'm, going, uh, I'm safe scumming a little bit. Just a wee bit. So I'm going to run down a little bit to the stairs and I'm going to do it. Skip it. Skip it. They're coming! Uh, we will so. Let's kick a few more kid when he outies! Drink potions. Rook, swallow. Dink, dink. Perfect. All right, come out. Let's go ahead and do the false blood.
Oh jeez. Almost got that. Uh. Let's try something a little bit different. Get that vigor regeneration. Three dead. Is Hensel coming in now? Nope. Scoyatel archers. Freedom fighters in an uneven battle, nobling their suffering. It all depends on your point of view. Yeah, it does. I helped Yorbit. I gave him my trust. I joined Saskia and took the side of the rebels, their new values and ideals. Time will tell if I was right. One thing is sure. Best archers who have ever walked this earth. <laughs> Yorveth, that's what I call an entrance. I have to admit, the squirrel has style. Not all is lost. We need. What are you talking about? He looks as if he likes it here. He'll change his mind. Join your. Yarpin says Death Mold's magic damaged it. Yarpin knows fuck all about gates. Cover my arse. The fate of the battle hangs on it. There's no bloody gate that's Zoltan. If you say. Oh, break through with Ivor. Okay, so we gotta go this way. No, wait, no. 
Wait, what? So, how do I get to where he needs to get? Nope. Oh, wait, maybe this way? That's how. I was like, I know there's gotta be a way. Pull up the ladder! Yes, sir! Okay, I'll find them dandy. Let's go ahead and get some more of the bulk of blood on. Yorbeth, we need to get to the main gate, now. Admit it. You thought I wouldn't come back, Windblade. You're hellishly good. We need to stop Hensel from retreating. And then force him to try it. There's no time to waste. To the gate! Oh, really? Oh, I can't perform that here? Oh, wait, hold on. Can I? Nope, still can't. Cut off like sitting ducks. Maybe they'll surrender. Doubtful. Sire, your orders. Little reuse footage there. We surrender. Nice. The battle is over, King. You won, and the victors state their terms. You know my terms. You will relinquish Eden and sign an act of unconditional surrender in which you'll promise your troops will never cross the Pontar. Is that all? You'll pay war reparations and recognize the free realm of Upper Eden with Saskia of Vergen at its head. Move what on. about me and my men? What awaits us? Freedom. It's a great thing. Look how many of my soldiers died defending it. How much do you want? We'll discuss the war reparations in detail at Loch Muin before esteemed witnesses. There's one thing Saskia didn't mention. I'm listening. Since the dawn of time, wars were, are, and will yet be. One side wins, the other loses. But military conflict should be carried out under chivalrous rules and laws. What's your point, sorceress? War criminals, including Deathmold, must be punished. I need an advisor. War criminals must be punished. You'll have a new advisor, Sheila de Tanzerville. Has this witch gone mad? It's a necessary condition. Deathmold committed a crime and he must be punished. As you wish. Execute him. Don't allow them to harass me like a dog. I just noticed the top of You'll see how a real sorcerer dies, foolish whores. Chopping block. Ow. Swear an oath and you'll walk free. 
Who am I negotiating with anyway? Philippa Eilhart and I speak with one voice. Be wary of the sorceresses. They often forget whose perch is higher. Philippa is my advisor. Mm. We await your decision, King. I, King Henselt, Lord of Kedwin, swear before witnesses that I will relinquish Adarian borders. I recognize Saskia of Vergen's reign in the realm of the Pontar Valley, and I swear to pay war reparations in the amount agreed upon at Loch Muin. You're free. Show the king the way out. <clears throat> it's time to go, Saskia. Yes. I don't like it. What? Saskia. I know her well. She's never behaved like that. Her eyes look as if she's taken fist tech. I assure you, she doesn't use it. Let's follow them. Okay. First things first. Character. Let's go ahead and get this second part of <gasps> Repost. Because that probably would help a lot. They disappeared. A teleport. Let's search Eilhart's house. She was in a hurry. Maybe she left something. Let's take a look. Oh, well, that was a use. Jorbit, over here. I've... What is it? A tome of potion recipes. We've no time to read books. Sorceresses carefully guard books like this. Not that carefully. After all, she left it behind. <clears throat> she was in a hurry. Could this book have anything to do with the Dragon Slayer? Even if it doesn't, it's still very valuable. I'm sure it's filled with recipes Eilhart used to send many to eternity. You're right. I've found Thaumador's recipe. Eilhart already told us the ingredients for mage pain. How is it relevant? Usually the recipe for an antidote is right next to the one for the poison. I can recite it exactly. Royal blood, an immortal, a dragon's dream, and petals from a rose of remembrance. Yet this book doesn't even mention a rose of remembrance. I recall perfectly that Eilhart said a rose of remembrance combined with an immortal heals the mind. What if she lied? Maybe it doesn't heal the mind, but influences it. Philippa passed the flower to Saskia through a kiss, the symbol of love and perdition. I'm confused. I think Philippa subjugated Saskia's mind by adding the rose to the antidote. I'll kill that bitch. Philippa has magic and an obedient dragon at her command. She could have a strong influence on the conference. But what does she want? We can only learn that in Loch Muin. Let's Moon. go then, Gwynblade. <laughs>